Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And this is the unboxing of a brand new Leopard Kim Veteran Sherman. So, let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. And also a very warm welcome to the new unboxing area. I just moved, so here you can see uh, the place, but I think you already figured it out. And this veteran Sherman has been provided. No, it's not provided actually, I bought it. Yes, this is my new personal wheel. I bought it from mywheel.com. Um, I did get a bit of a different price because you know of what I do but still this is now my personal wheel that's here to stay my go-to all-around performance long-range wheel my <laughs> so yeah and if you want to buy a wheel like this from myewheel.com um, just uh, type in the coupon code wrong way at checkout and you'll receive a 5% discount and I also do receive a kickback from that off your order oh man oh yes and also sorry for the um, sound in the background it's just the venom total chop total top charging here yeah just 30 kilowatts not mainly oh so exciting times so exciting high quality foam you know guys you all that's um, that's the other way around. <laughs> Unboxing the, the veteran Sherman. So you have, you have seen the wheel already on the channel. I did a review on it as well. You can check it out in the link in the description or you can just check it out on the channel. I just have to have it. There will be a lot of stuff happening with this wheel. I will accessorize it. There will be a thousand or two thousand I think two thousand kilometer review of it because I already did a thousand kilometer review on it before uh, I'll get accessories for it I'll light it up we'll take it possibly to Finland we'll ride on the Arctic Circle I don't know I don't know what we'll do and maybe we'll just stay here and I'll ride around Warsaw so yeah oh right off the bat we get a charger that fits into the box got way 5 amp charger so it takes six hours to charge from zero to 100 percent Leopard Kim you can charge two of these uh, you can charge with two of these uh, the, the the veteran Sherman just for fast charging some nice high quality foam in here that doesn't just disintegrate if you touch it and here's the wheel itself. Oh, wheelie! Woo! <laughs> Feels like Christmas. This is also the latest iteration of, uh, of the veteran Sherman's. It shouldn't have the pedal dipping. Oh! Yes, it's a light wheel, by the way, if you didn't notice. These are the pads that I will just throw away right into the garbage because they're worthless. Let's see if the wheel will boot up. I believe I have to connect the charger to boot it up because it's now in transport mode. Let's see, yeah, it's in transport mode. I'll probably also tape up the screen right away because that's a common issue in veterans. Like in the later versions, it shouldn't be, but I just want to make sure because it's a wheel I will use all the time. So cool, so fresh. It will never look the same again. Oh man, check out the sandpaper. That's some, that's some, good ass quality sandpaper let's see how it'll hold up over time is there anything else in the box there's another i don't know what it is it should be a side pad but it's i'm just kidding maybe i'll use it later but for now I i've seen it on one of my friend's uh, unicycles and it was really hard to ride with the side pads so here you have a glance of the wheel looks super fresh super new here are the charge ports on the rear and this is a great position to charge ports because if you forget to close them which you should never do and ride in the rain like there it's really it's it's really hard for water to ingress here so this is a good position for the chargers but still i think we should move away from these male 
connectors on this side because it's really easy to make a shortage with these connectors. Just use XT90 connectors or something else. And right away, the first accessory I will mount and I mounted to the Sherman is the Speed Seat by Zoom Wheels Brian. It's, uh, you've already seen the seat before uh, I, in the videos about uh, the trip to Fort Ramen and the long range range test of the Sherman. And now in the city, probably I will ride without the seat because it does obstruct the view of the screen here and I really can't make just this move, which is uh, lifting the seat up at you know 60 kilometers an hour. And I can confirm that pedal dipping is pretty much gone. They totally changed it. In neither direction, there's pedal lipping. It's now like a K KS. Just trying out a bit faster turns now. Let's see it still doesn't, if it still doesn't pedal dip. And in fact, maybe just the slightest bit, but it's, Oh, now it dips a bit, but it's definitely so much better than the one I had before. So yeah, just just the slightest hint of a pedal dip now, but I think it's less than Godway and definitely less uh, than it was before. And after that small jump in the timeline, we go back to me on voiceover because actually my wireless mic discharged. The first thing you want to do when you receive your Sherman is to plug it in to get it out of the transport mode. So now I'll set up the Sherman and check out its features. First off, the light. It's the most powerful light on a EUC currently on the market. It does blind people, but I think I can set it up in a way that it's uh, better. You can also tilt the headlight so it goes just in the right direction, not, not, not like in the Godway. There's also these heat sinks and it's connected via a usual or like regular um, audio jack. It's a 12 volt light and it's easily replaceable. The same, same thing is on the rear with a tail light, but the tail light is a five volt unit. So I will be thinking if I will mount something more powerful up in the front or something different in the rear, definitely I'll add on some additional lighting to the roll cage that is provided on the veteran Sherman. Sadly, there is no speaker on the Sherman. There's also no USB charge port and there is no lift switch. So these are the things that you will find on other wheels, but sadly not on the Sherman. And there's also no mud guard, but okay, let me just guide you through one thing that is on the Sherman and not on any other wheel, namely the display. And let's set it up. You can check out now the functions. The pedals are at a strong setting. Here you can select the angle adjustment of your pedals. Now I just set it to one. Then there is the tilt back speed in very strange increments. And sadly, the max, the, the highest tilt back speed is 58 kilometers an hour, you can't set it to 65, just set it to 280 kilometers an hour for some reason. Then you can also set up the alarms and same thing here, I just set it up to 280 kilometers an hour. Maybe I'll set it up differently in EUC world, but this is the setup that makes sense for me. Then you can select, select the brightness of the screen, topping out at 99%, not 100. And then you can also calibrate, but only horizontally how the wheel is set up. So it's not a cal calibration like in usual wheels. It's uh, the wheel is calibrated in factory and then you can just set up the wheel or the, the, the pedal angle if it's not enough, the one, two, three, four, five increments in the other screen. So there's also a trolley handle. It looks a bit improved from the one I had before, a bit more sturdy and there's no screw just you know, on the inside. Um, I can't say it's like a super sturdy uh, trolley handle, but it works just well enough in this case. And if you want to carry it, you can just turn it off and carry it with one hand. It is possible, it's heavy, I know, but it's possible. On, or in any other way, you can just carry it with two hands. One more downside to the Sherman is that you can't install a new upgraded firmware or just a software update like in any other wheel. You will need a special like physical tool to install the software directly on to the motherboard. 
I'm extremely happy that I now have this wheel. Finally, I can go back and usual speeds <laughs> on the USC. It's uh, also it also has the biggest range currently on the ma market, but I'll be waiting for the Galway X and Monster Pro to sh show up. But those will be wheels for testing, not my personal wheels. And um, as in my usual fashion, the other wheel pretty much broke down on me, the V11. Its uh, bearings are really dead. <laughs> Yep, that's not a good sound. Because this is the first version of the wheel. I already talked to Emotion, so they will send me out a new motor to test it out. Uh, but now it's... Well, I I'm not really feeling r like riding a wheel with such bearings. And I also busted the wheel, I mean the rim a bit, because I was riding at a very low pressure. So, uh, yeah, that's that. Anyways, I hope you found this video useful and you like this type of video unboxing experience of the veteran Sherman. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this, and I'll see you in the next video. And also huge thanks to my Patreons on Patreon for patronizing or patroning me and patron pitching. Huge thanks for the support. See you soon.